Hey guys, Roxana here with Soil and Margaritas. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on this flower bed. Uh, if you remember last year, I put these boxwoods here and a couple of years ago, I added the honeysuckles that you see crawling on the cattle panel that my husband built. My idea for this spot is basically having a natural, beautiful wall that uh, can be some sort of privacy, but could also provide, you know, natural aspect to my side yard. And unfortunately, what I found out this year is that aphids love honeysuckles. And uh, some areas of these honeysuckles on this side of my yard are being hit by them. So I have been using use, uh, I have been using just my hose for the last week and coming here and spraying at different times of the day, just trying to get those off of them. But I know that I'm going to have to use something a little bit uh, hotter than that. I'm, I am going to be using some neem oil uh, mixture of some sort. I still haven't uh, looked into it. I never had aphids before in my garden, so I am not really sure how to deal with them. But I am looking into something natural that um, hopefully doesn't harm the pollinators. I have a bunch of perennials that are coming through, thankfully, like these geums and these uh, hardy geraniums. But I also have these boxwoods here right in the middle. I have one, two, and three that I think they're just uh, going to be in the way. I have plans for having things here that are tall. Uh, think of like dahlias, cosmos, um, straw flowers, things like that. And if I put them in front here or on the side, it's just going to look weird. I didn't think this through last year when I put the, the boxwoods here. So what I'm going to do today is that I'm just going to get them out of here. I'm going to give them a, a well-needed uh, trim around it. And then I'm just going to move them somewhere else and they're, they're going to be just fine. Um, boxwoods are one of those plants that um, they can really be moved any time of the year. You wouldn't want to move them like in the middle of summer, but if you have to, they will handle that, um, they will handle that transition well and that's why I love them. And uh, I'm, I am going to play with the position of where I want them and um, I change my mind quickly. We'll see where they end up going, but um, let's start. It's going to be a hot day today, so uh, I wanna take care of this bed, hopefully be done with it, and uh, that way I can move into something else. Okay, so now that I have the holes from where the backswoods were, I can show you everything that I have so that, um, so that it gives you an idea of what is going on here. So first, let me start with this uh, elephant ear that I started um, indoors. I, if you remember in the video, I put the corm in here and you can see I have apparently more babies coming through. And it's looking pretty nice. It's growing beautifully. It's about probably two feet tall now with a bunch of leaves. And I think that it's just going to be perfect right there in that hole. Also, I have a bunch of uh, dahlias that I got from Eden Brothers. These I did not have the chance to put in containers, so I just let them be. And some of them, I don't know if you can tell, they're already uh, sprouting, so they definitely need to be in the ground. I have a combination of um, dinner plate pastel. I have decorative pastel mix, and uh, I believe the other one is just the same, dinner plate pastel. So I'm just going to spread them around here evenly. I, I don't know why, but companies sometimes do not uh, label each. So I have, I don't know, two or three combination of different types of Dahlia tubers here and uh, they don't label them individually. I don't know why. So I'm just going to try to keep these two together. That way I don't get them mixed up with the ones that I have. I have some coleus, gorgeous. More coleus over here. 
I also have some gladioli that I started indoors. I basically just put the corms in water and they have been doing their thing. They have been here for about three weeks now and they're doing beautifully. I never had gladioli before, so this is going to be the first time that I, I have experience with them. I got some bells of Ireland. They took a little bit of time to grow. They're not that big and that's okay. We'll see how they do here. I have also some Dustin Miller. Don't ask me which variety because apparently my Sharpie didn't work. So who knows? I have nasturtiums. I have cherry rose jewel. I'm very excited about this variety. I have a bunch of them already around the garden. Uh, and these guys are definitely ready to be somewhere permanent. I also have some sweet alyssum that I started from seed. And they are super tall, you guys. And they smell just amazing. Just, just amazing. Next to some Cosmos uh, Black Magic or Chocolate Cosmos. They, the seed was very expensive for these. I think that each packet had five seeds and they were $4. So I am excited that some of them germinated because they're very expensive. And I also have some double click uh, white colors. I am excited about these. They're supposed to be double Cosmo, so uh, I'm excited about the flowers. We'll see how they do. I do have to come here and pinch about half of the uh, each plant just to uh, sort of help it produce more, more branches. About half of them here, maybe even taller. I don't know. We'll decide when it's in the ground. So that's a lot of plants and not everything is going to make it. So I have a bunch of sweet alyssum there. I'll probably use half of them. I don't know yet. Uh, it's one of those things where um, I decide when I am planting them and um, yeah, let's do this you guys. Well, it is the next day, you guys, and I am done working on this bed. I have every plant that I wanted to be here planted and ready. I am hoping that here in the next month we can see a huge uh, change in the size of this bed. I was able to get most of my dahlia tubers in there and I hope that they do well because this uh, soil that I have in this bed, it's not anything uh, super nice. It's just the original soil from the property where we live and it's not the best but um, we'll see how they do and it will be a great trial. and. and I will decide what to do with the next year. If they do well, then I don't have to worry about anything else. Some things do look so tiny compared to others in size, but I am not worried about that at all. I just hope that they can um, fill in in this bed and they can flourish and do well.